Okay, Mongoose Jake here, and what I wanted to touch on was this blaster. You probably recognize it immediately. It's the kind of infamous double dealer. What makes it infamous? Of course, if you're not familiar with the term, inf infamous means you're famous or something is famous. You or something. It's famous for all the wrong reasons. Highly shown to jam often uh, by, in particular, uh, what is probably the most famous YouTuber in the Nerf scene, Coop772. He, of course, has said many times he hates this blaster and that it jams so much that when he was doing his little uh, shotgun comparison, he even smashed one on the floor right there during filming and left it in unedited for everybody to see. Well, I kind of know his problem. He was one that actually clued me in on waffle tip darts. Waffle tip bar darts, of course, gaining popularity about a year ago or so. Uh, they started to come on the scene a little before that, maybe late 2016. So they've been out, out for a year, year and a half. And they were kind of seen all around by everybody as, hey, this is a really good alternative to Nerf Elite darts, or FVJs, or whatnot. But, all's not perfect. Um, they, they do have fairly good accuracy, but I've noticed reduced performance with basically all springers that still have the uh, ARs inside, by that of course I mean air restrictors, and you know, I have a lot of blasters. I have a couple hundred pushing almost, uh, I think I've probably pushed past 250 at this point, if you count every one of them. And a lot of them are still sock. I don't modify every one of them I get. And those, when I had a bin of 2,000 of these or, or more, you know, a lot of people who picked them up, you know, their blasters wouldn't function very well. You know, a, a modified blaster with just simply the AR removed in a 7 kilogram spring would punch these things out to, you know, 80, 90 feet. Whereas a stock blaster would struggle to hit half that. And a lot of it had to do with the thick walls of the, the foam and whatnot. And I'll, I'll make that a whole separate video of why I think waffle tip darts are bad. And overall they are. They are, they are actually bad. Even though a lot of people like them, they're actually a bad dart. And I know people will probably disagree with that because well, a lot of people like them. But they're a bad dart. Um, overall, most of the importers that are, are making and distributing them, they're just... There's not a, a real well-made dart. Um, but in particular, one blaster that I think suffered tremendously due to the, the rise of this type of dart is this poor double dealer. I've been running this now for a little while. I can't get it to fire worth anything if I use waffle tip darts. I have not had a single problem with this blaster in any way, shape, or form firing actor strikes or Action Strike copies, or my favorite dart, the Busby Precise Pro. It loves these things. It'll fire slam fire for days, oh, endless. I fired a whole 100 shots just before filming this, and just having fun with the family, and not one single jam, not one single hesitation, not one hang up, not one misfeed, nothing. And I never have. I've never had a misfeed with the double dealer using precise pros. Also, AccuStrike copies. And it all comes down to the way that this feeding mechanism for the dual stages, the way it feeds. And I, I'll go over here and bring the camera onto my workbench and give a close up of what's happening. And it basically boils down to the way that these AccuStrike copy heads or genuine AccuStrikes or the precise pros, the way that the tips are attached to the foam rods, it's just more secure and it allows it to feed better. But I'll actually show that over here in just a second here. Okay, now I have my magazines loaded with the Ekine waffle tips, as you can see. And I'm going to fire with the, uh, let me zoom the camera back out. I'm going to fire right here. And we're going to watch to see if I get jams. Well, okay. Got out of a chamber, I think. 
Okay, got the fire. Now I'm gonna go. Actually, okay, there we go. Okay, already. Um, one side fired, one side did not. So, let's clear this out real quick. I'm going to clear it out here so you can see. Okay, that's one that snagged. Let's, I'm just shooting at the wall in front of my workbench. No target in particular. Let's go again. Okay, both sides. Okay, one side fired. One side did not. And that, that is a that is a jam in there. Okay, so that's two already. One on my first shot and one on my third volley. Let's clear that out. And we'll load side magazine back in. Okay, there's a successful shot. Successful. Okay, that was that was 12 shots in both magazines, so a total of 24 darts fired with two jams. And here is the reasoning. These darts aren't securely fastened. The only way they're fastened is they don't have any glue around the around the edge of the tip. It's just down in on the post of the tip. And that's not even a bad one. Um, one that's real bad, keep in mind, some of these are brand new darts. Some of them are used, some are brand new. But you see that? The tip of that, this one's lightly used. This you know, shows no visible signs of major wear or tear or damage. But if you just look at that, that has a problem. Feeding in to the double dealer system, the breech, the problem with it, and the reason why the double dealer gets such a bad reputation, is when it feeds in. It's two of them coming in from the side, and if you're really, really tender like that, the breech is okay. Fires it off. That sounded pretty weak. But you see, it comes in from the side there. Okay, trying to keep the jam door open. There we go. Now, you could say, still a faulty design, that it doesn't work real well with all darts. And you see, I was able to get it fire, fire just fine by going really slow and careful. But the bad reputation that this blaster gets, a lot of it is due, it, you could say 25% the breech design, I want to say a huge part of it is all of a sudden the prevalence of this type of dart. The darts say such as, I mean here's, from NF Strike, I got these brand new shipment. I did it my last uh, Nerf Loot uh, video. These just came in. I mean these are brand new darts. They are actually cheaper than the waffle tips from Ekind that I bought on Amazon. These are actually about twice the cost. These are way better made, way better made. And every copy, I did a Little Valentine brand copy that looks identical to the original AccuStrike. I did a uh, video on some from AliExpress. They're called Jimmy Bear brand. And their tips were basically locked on, just like this. All of those fire fantastically through this. Busby Precise Pros, again, there is tons of glue there. That head is on there till, uh, probably till the foam falls apart. And these fire impeccably well from the double dealer. So if you've been struggling with a double dealer or you've heard horrible things about it, you've seen people complain and say it's terrible, it's, it's stay away from it, don't waste your money, grab one. 
find one through a thrift store, maybe pick it up cheap on eBay if you can, or secondhand if somebody's got one, or if you already have one and you're struggling with it. If you're like me, and you had thousands of these waffle tips because you heard they were the next greatest thing, I bought mine a whole, I bought, I bought like 2,500 of these at the beginning of last year when they were all of a sudden just came out and were awesome. And I found out that I want rid of them. All of them. I'm actually going to give them away. All of them. I, I've replaced my stash of darts for wars has already been replaced with Accustrait copies. My personal darts that I run are the Precise Pros. So I've already replaced my public wars bins. I've got these. My personal stash. I've built up as many of these as I can. And this is what I run. Now, both of them fire fantastically so give it a shot if you got a double dealer and you're struggling with it try busby precise bros try accu strikes try accu copies anything other than these don't use these in a double dealer and if you've been struggling and you've been using elites now try accu strikes try precise pros i love precise pros in these things in in the double dealer that's basically what I'm going to run from now on as long as I've got my double dealer. But it's Mongoose Jake. I wanted to share this to kind of shed some light on a blaster that I like. I really like my double dealer. And it'd be nice to see, you know, maybe some other people who do. If you like the double dealer, or if you don't, let me know what you think in the comment section below this video. And I will, uh, I will post up my link to where I bought what I'm going to recommend as a good dart to use in it, the AccuCopies from NF Strike, and I'll also just tell you, go out and grab the Busby Precise Pros when you see them. They're a good dart for everything, and this blaster in particular loves them. This is Mungus Jake, signing out.